Yo, yo, what is popping YouTube? And in today's video, we're going to be taking out a passage from The Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Joseph Murphy. And pretty much what I want to do is talk about the mental movie method. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read this passage and kind of give you details on how to actually perform this technique. A picture is worth a thousand words. William James, the father of American psychology, stressed the fact that the subconscious mind will bring to pass any picture held in the mind and backed by faith. Act as though I am and I will be. When you create these mental movies in your subconscious mind, you're saturating your subconscious mind with that idea to become that person that has that thing. It's not, I'm creating this image so I can see it in my reality. No, you're creating this this movie in your mind so your mind ends up believing in you as that person that already has it because it's not about changing your reality right in life it's about changing yourself so you're doing all these mental movies in order to become that person that you want to be that already has that just like it says at the end act as though i am and i will be a number of years ago i was in the middle west lecturing in several states and i desired to have a permanent location in the general area from which i could serve those who desired help i traveled far but the desire did not leave my mind. One evening while, a while in a hotel in Spokane, Washington, I relaxed completely on a couch, immobilized my attention, and in a quiet, passive manner, imagined that I was talking to a large audience, saying, in effect, I'm glad to be here. I have prayed for the ideal opportunity. I saw in my mind's eye the imaginary audience, and I felt the reality of it all. So that's pretty much important. When you're creating these uh, mental movies in your head, you wanna also create the feeling of how would it feel if I actually seen this in my reality? You know what I'm saying? You need to saturate your mind with that feeling also, because that's why he said, I saw in my mind's eye, the imaginary audience, and I felt the reality of it all. That's the key thing, is I felt. You need to feel that feeling of, of, of the things that you're uh, creating in your head before you go to sleep, or even if you're just imagining during the day. I played the role of the actor, dramatized this mental movie, and I felt satisfied that this picture was being conveyed to my subconscious mind, which would bring it to pass in its own way. The next morning on awakening, I felt a great sense of peace and satisfaction. And in a few days time, I received a telegram asking me to take to take over an organization in the Midwest, which I did and I enjoyed it immensely for several years. My bad for messing up on the reading. So pretty much he said the next morning, he felt a great sense of peace and satisfaction because he felt like creation was finished pretty much. And that's when he received a telegram asking him to take over an organization in the Midwest. And he did, and he said he enjoyed it for several years. He wanted to be there. So he imagined being there and he got there, right? He just entered Sabbath mode was pretty much what it is. And he was confident that the movie that he created was what he was gonna get. And that's pretty crazy because that, that happened pretty fast. A mental picture held in the mind backed by faith will come to pass. Pretty much saying that you need to to believe as if this is already happening in your head, right? When you create these this uh, mental movie, and you're imagining this, you have to feel as if this were true. When I create this image in my head, I have to feel as this is if this is happening right now, right? When I sit here, let's say, let's do an example. I'm gonna sit here, right? Okay, I have 291 subs, and I'm gonna use this right now for this day of the video. Today, I have 291 subs. Let's manifest more subs. So let's 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 do an example for everybody right now that's watching this. Okay. I'm going to manifest 350 subs. So today is what? Uh, I don't know what today's date is. March. Um, so today is May 18th. May 18th today. By May, by the end of this month. Wait, no, I don't even want to put a time limit. I'm just going to sit here and imagine myself having 350 subs and just imagine myself feeling happy. I could just see myself looking at the computer like, wow, I really did this. Like, I'm thankful for the opportunity that I have to that I get to make YouTube videos. So I'm gonna sit here and meditate on it. I'm seeing 500 subscribers. I'm not even seeing 350, I'm seeing 500. Damn, I'm seeing 500 subs for real. See how my mind, my mind doesn't even wanna see 350. My mind is telling me 500 subs. And I can feel it, just for an example, you seen the date, May 18th. So now let's see if my mental movie is gonna play correctly in life, right? Let's see if it's gonna project into reality. I just sat there, I did, I created that mental movie right now and I've seen 500 subs. That's how I'm going to feel. I'm going to feel hella happy. You could probably feel my energy through this video. I guarantee you, 500 subs by this video, right? It's May 18th. 500 subs? Who knows what's going to come? That's the thing. We got to be patient. I'm not going to look for it. I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let go of that 500 subs. We'll see what happens next. 
Um, I pretty much just did an example. It's so easy. You created that mental move. You just create that feeling too. How would you feel? Ask yourself, how would I feel if I had 500 subs? How would I feel if I had the opportunity to keep making YouTubes every day? Every day? How would I feel if I had the opportunity to just teach people, you know, the knowledge of this book and come on YouTube every day and be happy, you know? This is what I love to do. Um, pretty much, man, just try that technique, the mental movie technique. I think that y'all will love it and enjoy it. So pretty much that's it for the video. I love y'all. I'm out. Peace.